Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. Generated columns contain values that are the result of an expression rather than an explicitly stored value. Let's take a look at an example where this may be useful. We have a sales table containing a column for the order total and a column for the tax rate. We will often want to get the total cost of the order, including tax. With our current table structure, we can run a query that does the calculation when we select the data. As you can see in this example, we need to add the total with the tax rate multiplied by the total and then round it to two decimal places. Having to write this portion of the query over and over can get quite cumbersome. Also, if the data set is large, doing calculations like this on the fly could lead to performance issues. One way to address this is by creating a generated column. We add a generated column using a similar syntax to adding a standard column. We start by using an alter table clause followed by an add column clause. Then we specify the name of the column. In this case, it's transaction underscore total. Next, we define the data type for the generated column. Here we are using decimal 10 comma two. We tell MySQL the column is always generated and then we use an as clause to define the expression. In this example, we use the same calculation from the query we just ran. Note that the expression is wrapped in parentheses. Lastly, we specify the value as being stored. This means that the value will be written to the database. If we used virtual here, the values would not be stored, but evaluated when a query is run. We can take a look at the new table structure by running the query, describe sales. There are now four columns, with our new column showing that it is a stored generated column. If we run the query, select star from sales, limit 10, we will see that transaction underscore amount is returned with the calculation already done. If a generated column is stored, the value is calculated anytime a row is inserted or updated. Here, we insert a new row with a total of 400 and a tax rate of 0.05. When we select that row, we see that the transaction total has been calculated correctly. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.